All right, y'all, so my Jeep Grand Cherokee got a check engine light. So I got this uh, OBD reader. We're gonna plug it in right over there. All right, and turned on. What I'm gonna do next is turn the key all the way without actually starting the Jeep. And we're gonna let this bad boy Load up here. Two hours later. Oh no, JK, that was pretty fast. So, Jeep. Yes. Okay. P0123, throttle position sensor. Sensor. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna change this bad boy. Okay, so we're gonna change this thing. So take the key out and just unplug this bad boy. And now let's get started be changing the TPS throttle position sensor on my 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee with the inline 6 4 liter and uh, first thing you want to do is obviously pop the hood and then what you want to do is disconnect the negative terminal on the battery and then after that we're gonna start doing some work in this area alright so the negative terminal is disconnected once you do that what you want to do is follow your uh, your intake and then right down here there's gonna be a screw it loosens the clamp there and then what you can do is you could lift this off but before you lift that off what you want to do is there's gonna be four clips on the air box right here and you want to undo them one's gonna be right here there's gonna be one under over here and one's gonna be right here and there's gonna be one right over here and this this can like lift off then. and then we're gonna undo that screw there so I loosened that uh, screw for the clamp and then what you want to do is unplug this line like that and then you can lift it off okay it's still tight so I'm gonna loosen the screw a little bit more all right so once that loose you can lift that up and you can just get this out of the way and just like put it on the side or something. And then the TPS sensor is right behind us, right over here. And he uses a T, uh, T20 screw. And yeah. Alright guys. Uh, screw's coming out. It's really tight. Doing it though. That's the sensor. And then I'm just taking the screw out. The first time you try to unscrew it, it's super, like, it's really tight, but you might need to use two hands to actually turn the screwdriver to actually get it out. So, yeah. So this is one side coming out, then I'm going to do the other side. Whoa, a sudden location change. Okay guys, sorry, my camera died last night, so I had to put everything back together, so now I'm going to make this video again. I'm going to start it from the beginning, I'm just going to continue off. Uh, uh, where I left it so yeah I'm just gonna take everything apart I'm just gonna start the video in the same spot I left it yesterday all right so I'm taking the last screw out nice and slow I do need two hands to do it that's why I can't record it so the first screw is out and it's already wobbling a little bit because I loosened the other one once that's out we'll put the other TPS in all right y'all so the old center is out I'm going to put the new one in, but they gave me this ring, and that's just going to fit in right there. And then I'm going to put the sensor on where I got it from. So this is going to replace the old sensor. So we're going to put it back in the same spot there, same way it came out. Alright, so I got the new sensor in, and I'm going to just put the same screws back so I'm gonna tighten both sides as much as I can with the screwdriver and then the rest I'm gonna do with the soccer wrench 
it'll just make it easier. All right, guys, it's done. I'm just gonna plug this thing in, and then I'm gonna connect the battery first, and then I'm gonna put the intake back on. So this light can turn on so I could see in the dark. Lights back on. I'm just gonna check everything around it. Make sure it's actually in. It's in. It's in there nice. Nice and tough. Alrighty. And I'm gonna put the intake back on just the same way you took it off and that's how you change the throttle position sensor on your Jeep Grand Cherokee or any Jeep with the 4 liter inline 6 pretty much alright y'all everything is put back together I hope this video helped I'm just going to start this thing up see if it actually starts because if it doesn't that's going to be pretty shitty um, let's get in this bad boy Started up, and I'm gonna keep the old sensor with me uh, just because I should, just in case you never know. And yeah, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna take it for a little drive, see how it drives, and that's it.